something that I saw today that was disturbing. Um, as I was taking my morning walk, there was a lady laying in the grass and she was in between um, the hotel and a church. She had on a very short, um, look like a mini dress. It was pulled up. I think you could see her undergarments or maybe some short shorts. She laid in the field in the grass and she had a trash bag and put it under her head. And I had just listened to scripture. I don't know which gospel it's in. It said uh, the desolate daughters of Babylon. And he's, God said the heathens are at ease. She was such at such ease laying in the grass around 12 o'clock with her head on a trash bag. Now, line upon line, precept upon precept, she had just left the hotel. And I believe she had left out of somebody's room. She had a bag on her head. I think her hair was wet. So, so she had been, you know, she doesn't look like she's stable. And it looks like she she wasn't handled and treated well in the room from where she came. So she's under in captivity under somebody. And then they threw her out like trash. My God. Because she was in the grass with the trash bag under her at ease. No shame in captivity desolate. I saw vomit um, in the spirit. Actually, I saw that in the physical as I was taking my walk around the area. Um, I see shape-shifting women who will smile as long as you're compliant with what they say, say, as long as you do what they like. But let you say something. Let you say no. Let you ask. Let you advocate. Mm -hmm. They be like, oh, she doing too much. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, that's the spirit of Jezebel. But enough about that. Because no weapon form will prosper. And then you got people up, up north that is blaspheming God. You know, saying the GD word. There are some people out here that welcome correction. So I thank God for that. There's some people here who are just pray. So I pray for the pray. You pray with the pray. God said, don't hurt the pray. You got to test the spirit. Someone who's joyous and happy, but who has trauma that leads them to addiction and affliction has a different set of circumstances and a different set of needs that they have to have. Because addiction is not like a light switch. You don't turn it on and off. Yes, first step is that you have to make a choice. People have to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. However, this one lady in particular, she lost a child. She lost a baby at six months. She said her baby was six months. Imagine. I can only imagine. It could have been me. But see, when people look at her, mm, Jesus People look at her as a reproach because I hear people talking about her like a dog. So I called her social worker because she has a cognitive uh, deficit as well. And, uh, and I told him that she said that she wanted to change her ways. And, you know, he chuckled. Mm. He chuckled. He thought it was humorous to him. That was a very dis disheartening, as I heard him chuckle, the voice of a social worker. Mm. Broken systems, vexation of my spirit. When you hear people in positions like that who don't really think anything of someone because of the life that they're currently in. That's why the Bible says, judge not, least she be judged. So he don't know who he was talking to on the other end. Because am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. I have a professional degree in nursing, sir. So the questions I'm asking are valid. Don't brush me off. Don't patronize me, please. Just take care of the lady. 
I love you. God bless you. I'll be back.